All right, welcome to CIT 15. My name is Rio Waller and I'm gonna be your instructor. If you're enrolled in either an online CIT 15, my section, or a face-to-face -face CIT 15. So there's four sections total and you may have be you may be in either one it doesn't matter the class is going to look the same so this video is really going to give you just an introduction to what you need to do i'm recording it at the end of the f uh, spring semester the fall semester 2015 before the winter break before we get into the fall semester so my hope here and i'm knowing it will happen some of you will see this before well before the start of the semester and get started on the right foot. But before I get into what you're going to need and course requirements and all that, let me just say what a fun time to be taking computer concepts, right? And what a fun time for me to be teaching it. I mean, really, technology is so ubiquitous, right? What, what is ubiquitous? It's everywhere and we don't even really think about it, right? From my watch, my phone, Google Glass that I carry sometimes. I mean, and that's just like the hardware that's happening. And then there's like the social movements that are happening around technology. And then there are the things that are happening in our world that technology can either sometimes make better or sometimes it can feel a little worse. But we'll explain, we'll explore a lot of these topics and give you really a lot of hands-on experience with technology. So I'm excited about this course. I love teaching it. And so I hope you find it as uh, helpful in your career because everyone and every career needs some kind of skill in technology these days. It's just a fact of life. So let's turn to the course. And well, actually, before I get there, let me just say a couple things just about the course itself. So in addition to doing, looking at some of the latest technologies we're going to use some of the latest technologies in the way that you take this course if you have been around um, at all in Fresno City or other uh, higher education or even in some other schools they have used a system called Blackboard and Blackboard has been great through the years I've used it uh, for over 10 years and now there's a competitor and I'm really excited about the competitor and you and I are going to uh, used a system called Canvas. So Canvas is a, what I would consider a really nice update, uh, a updated idea of a LMS, a, a learning management system, but really it's just what you know as how you take the course. So obviously having an account in that system is really important. I'm going to walk you through this because what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create your account and I'm going to invite you in. So what I will do first though is I'll turn to the uh, screen. I'll show you so some of the basics that you, to get you started and then I'll actually walk through uh, what, what you do when you get the invite in the Canvas. Okay, so let's actually take a look at that. So the first thing, I actually had that on the screen here, right? So before we get started, Canvas, uh, not Blackboard, right? So and you have to set up your account. And then I think what I will do is I'll leave this to the end so that we can kind of end with that because oftentimes what students want to know at the beginning of the semester is like, what do I need? What do I absolutely need to take this class? So there's really two things you need. It's the My IT Lab, which is a simulation software that will teach you to use Word, Excel, um, not uh, PowerPoint will be in there, but really we'll focus on Word, Excel, and access the database. Okay, so and included in your My IT Lab setup will be an ebook version of the textbook. So you can choose if you want to buy the hard copy and the code from the li from the bookstore here on campus, or you can buy it just strictly directly from the My IT Lab folks. You'll get an ebook. You won't get a hard copy, but you'll get all the rest of the simulation. So you get to figure out how you want to purchase it. I frankly don't care, care but here's what you got to know. You have to get it. You, you have to get it within the first four weeks of the semester. If you don't, you won't be able to buy it. So it's a really, really, really important thing that I will talk about in a later lecture. Okay? So just turning to the screen. So uh, the other thing that is required from my course is a Gmail account. We will use Google Docs to submit a lot of your work, so that's really important. And so, um, and in this important concept is also you must, if you're online, you have to have your Canvas by the end of the first day of the semester. And if you're face-to-face, -face, you have to show up the first day. If you don't do either of these things and you're in that particular mode, that will subject you to drop. Okay, so I have, and hopefully you've, that's how you've seen this video, giving, given in Blackboard just the link to the video you're watching and the syllabus. So if you want to take a look at the syllabus for our semester, um, for this semester, you can see here just more detail about the stuff I was already talking about, 
and I'm just going to make this a little bigger so you can see it here. But this is the book in the bookstore, 100 bucks. You can buy it directly from them, My IT Lab. We'll talk more about that. And then uh, what will be really important when you're setting up your My IT Lab is to get enrolled in the correct course based on your section number, something I'll do later. Do know you can get Microsoft Office for free now uh, based on your campus email. That's awesome. So I'm not going to go through this in detail. Really, this is your job, right? So as, a, as an, a student in any class, you should spend some time getting to know the syllabus, like, and see when things are going to come, what the schedule is, because my, my particular syllabus will, uh, and actually more of Canvas, will tell you a lot of, answer most of the questions that you need between the syllabus and the course setup, okay? All right, so let's actually do this. So each of you that are enrolled as of now, okay, so let me, let me just say that kind of a little more clearly, as of right now. Some of you may, for whatever reason, get added during the winter break. So I won't be able to add you or give you the invite that you're about to see until probably a week for the start of the semester, which should be giving you more than enough time, okay? So just know that the invite that I'm about to show you will be for those students that are enrolled as of the end of this semester. Okay, so you will all get, uh, it'll look like this, right? So this is what it will actually look like. Uh, it'll call, it's called Infrastructure Canvas. It'll say click here to get started. And then you'll go ahead and click in here. And it'll, oh, I got to log out. Let's do this. I was logged in as instructor. That won't work. So then let me do that again. Let me go back to here. So in here, it says to get started, come to here. Oh, cool. Actually, I'm not sure why. It says you've been invited to join. I don't know why I didn't. I guess it looks a little different than the last time I did this for a moment. I'm like, what does this mean? So if you've been invited to join in whatever section that you're joining, right? So in this case, you can go ahead and just hit accept. Welcome aboard. And what this is, is, and this is really what I expected to see, so it's kind of funny that I saw it on the second screen, so it doesn't matter. So most of you, I'm guessing, will not have uh, a Canvas account. Now, what, what's, what you're used to is the Canvas usually already sets up your Blackboard course, your Blackboard accounts, but in this case, you have to set up your account. So it's not, not a big deal, though. Just go ahead and say, create my account. Right, and then you get to determine whatever your password is. I always recommend strong passwords. Um, you can have it send you updates. You do have to agree here. And what's important here is the time, right? So you want to choose the correct time so that when you're posting stuff, it gets in there. So once you do that, boom, you're in. That's, that's really, you know, that's really what you have to do. And now that you're in, right, so this is Canvas. This is it. And I will, in week one, go over more of what you need to do and what you need to know. Okay? So let me go back here. So I got you in Canvas, right? So I, I've talked about what you need to do. I've talked about the requirement. I've talked about the uh, course requirements, what you need to uh, get a hold of, uh, just knowing and planning ahead. I've talked about having your Canvas account. So this should be the video that just gives you that basic information, get you started on the right foot. I will now record other subsequent videos that you will see later in week one and other items that you will uh, that will come up real quickly in the Canvas. Okay, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.